Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today we are back in the forest and I want to remind you a miracle is coming your way. I want to give you this powerful reminder because so often we wake up in the morning and we start looking for what is going wrong and we start looking for what to prepare for and you know all the challenges and everything so we are kind of unconsciously wired to 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 be triggered or to to actually look for the triggers to feel alert to feel afraid but actually the great progress we create is once we wake up and and we say well today a miracle will find me today unexpectedly i will experience something good because this is the small shift that we start creating in our brain you know when we start changing our perception of life and we start looking like today unexpectedly i will experience something good and this is so important reminder so actually so simple because so often we hear those things so often we hear like like um think positively and look on life positively but we all know that it's not so easy it's not so simple it's like we have emotions we have emotional attachments we have beliefs deep limited beliefs which are actually blocking our uh, or limiting our life's experiences and then we have those heartbreaks right and and deep suffering and we have wounds and and so much of different things which may uh, cause us to suffer and if we have all those different uh, things within ourselves, it's much harder to look on life from that positive, from that other positive perspective. That's why it's so important to cover all those different aspects and to truly be aware of what is happening within ourselves before we actually look what is happening outside of us. Because everything is a dream, a great dream. And we are observing that great dream through a lens of different experiences that happened in the past right so if you still hold to certain heartbreaks if you still hold to certain hold to certain emotional wounds if you still hold to certain limited beliefs then a great start is to to say to yourself that moment by moment i'm healing from the past maybe you were hurt but you're a work in progress you don't need to be perfect you're already enough but moment by moment allow yourself to become a new version of yourself allow yourself to move on and of course for many people it's much harder to to move on especially from those hard experiences that's why we need to allow ourselves to learn something new to do something new to try something new because a great way to to get unstuck is to start moving to to make one step forward and try something new see what inspires you as yesterday i was talking the sun is moving into leo's energy which means that you may feel inspired to do something new you may feel called to do something you feel joyful about and that's so powerful because once we do something we are joyful about we experience more happiness and once we get into that more happy state we experience that um peak state of being when where we are focused once again but not on the problems but on the good things that are happening in our lives and once we get into that peak state if we start looking into the future we will see a positive future we will see what is waiting us there that's why it's so important to do what you love to do to do what you're what you feel joyful about doing that and to laugh more often do things which makes you laugh whatever it is because so often people are forgetting that my friends miracles are always coming your way because but the thing is because we are focused on those problems and pains and whatever happened we may miss the good stuff we may miss the beautiful stuff and it is like you go in, into the forest and you don't see the colors because you see what happened to you in the past and that's why it's so important to self-reflect you know to, to 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 see what happened and to find the truth in your past because often we we make up stories psychologists are saying that most of the stories from our past are made up and when we look into our past what happened most of the stories are not even real and that's why it's important to see the truth in what happened to us in the past because sometimes people hurt us 
and sometimes really hard things happened and when we were little kids we maybe we we thought like we are unworthy or we should be better so these things would stop happening or we are not enough so we we need to fix ourselves so maybe our p parents will love us or whatever it was when we were little kids we obviously didn't understand or we we had no idea what's happening and we've created certain false stories about ourselves and most people are still holding to those false stories like they are not enough people around them are not accepting them because they are not enough so it doesn't matter how hard they try to fix themselves they're never enough so it's important to find that core belief you are still holding on which is telling you why you should fix yourself because there's nothing you should fix because you're already enough you're already lovable and you're already infinite creative being which is here to express your unique soul and that's why i want to remind you miracles are coming your way so so open your heart to to receive them open your heart to to see the beauty around you to observe the movement of the trees like right now some gentle wind is is blowing through the branches of the trees and and you see that gentle flowingness you know that movement and it it puts you into a hypnotic state if you observe for example few leaves for for some moments and when you observe that it puts you into the present moment in in the present moment there is no pain there is no suffering because everything is an illusion and and once we fully understand that, we recognize, well, if everything is an illusion and if everything is a dream, let's, let's tell ourselves a better story, right? I'm a work in progress and I expect unexpected miracles, positive miracles. I'm open for the unexpected good things finding me. I'm open for that. And I will do everything which is in my power to be more aligned with myself i will listen myself i will do what i love i will write down the things that truly brings me joy and i will make sure that i will do at least one thing of that list and then be consistent with that work on that truly every single day take time for that because this is the time for your soul this is where this is where the healing is happening because often we think healing is so complex and it it should take us so much time but actually you may find people which are doing what they love they are actually not doing so much of emotional healing and and they're not digging so much in their past but they seem truly happy and excited about life it's because when we're doing what we love we're always raising that emotional energy and we just experience greater clarity because when we are in love with life we are clear about life so the lens through which we see life is clear it's clean and and we see the greater truth in life so we are not bothering um, ourselves so much about what happened but we actually pay attention to what can we do to get the best out of life right uh, to experience life in the best possible way so my friends a quick reminder for you expect unexpected positive miracles coming your way and when I say expect unexpected positive miracles I mean by that that you don't define what should happen in order to explain it as a positive thing but rather just be open for for um, positive events like something will find me today that will make me laugh something will find me today that will awaken joy within me something will find me today that will give me a sense of of happiness whatever it is but walk towards it do the things you love to do do the things you feel joyful about because truly we are generating energy we are not waiting things to happen we are generating energy and once we become more aware of what kind of energy we want to generate we actually ask ourselves what or how joy feels like how 
passion feels like, how happiness feels like. And that's where we start actually looking at what we want to do to experience more of that, right? So to me, this is powerful because that's where we start changing those programs, those unconscious programs which are telling to us that we are not enough, that we should always change something about ourselves and we should always be like this and that and like that person. You're already enough, my friends. And whatever you do, do it with all your heart. That's it. I'm sending you lots of love, blessings and power. Have a beautiful day. Go outside a little bit. Enjoy yourself. Do what you love. Until next time, one love.